history has been made this week. Katanji Brown Jackson was confirmed as a U.S. Supreme Court justice, making her the first black woman to reach the country's top court. It was a meaningful moment for my next guest. Tanya Walker is a lawyer and managing director of Walker Law in Toronto. Good morning. Good morning. So what what did it mean to you watching as Katanji Brown Jackson ultimately was confirmed to the Supreme Court? Well, thank you for having me. And what it means to me is it's just exciting. Um, it moves me to even just feel a little emotional because it just, even though judges are impartial, this uh, nomination, this uh, appointment reflects the diversity of the United States and our diversity in our country is is very similar. And it just acknowledges that if you can work hard, um, you, change can happen. Um, and if you see something, then you might believe that's something that you can do in the future. So I, I'm really, really excited to see um, that this change has happened. If you can work hard, then change can happen. Um, added yes. to that for many, many decades has been that you need to work harder than others to reach those heights. What does this say about that? I, I actually agree with you. So <laughs> uh, being a black woman, I that's what I was taught by my parents and that's what I do. And um, sometimes you do need a little to work a little bit harder to demonstrate um, to those who may not believe that you should be there, that you should be. Mm -hmm. So I, but uh, the the key phrase here is work hard. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes uh, in the past, even if you did work hard, change wouldn't be achieved. And that's what I like to see now is that if you work hard or even harder, change can, can be attained. I I can't imagine, or I can imagine actually what type of uh, uh, inspiration this will be for young black women and young uh, black girls around the world, in fact. But, but I, I wonder for you, when you were younger. Who were the black female lawyers that you looked up to? Well, I, the black female lawyer that I looked up to that actually made me decide to become a lawyer when I was a little girl, maybe around four or five years old, and I'm really dating myself. Her name is Claire Huxtable from The Cosby <laughs> Show. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that show. Of course. And so I saw her as a little girl, and I didn't even understand what lawyering meant. And I was like, I want to be her. <laughs> and so my parents said, well, you're argumentative, so you might, you know, that's one check. <laughs> but you have to work very, very hard to get into uh, a good school and to uh, follow through with law school. And it's something you can do. My parents never said no to me. So I think it's a combination of seeing someone, even if it was an actress, um, that I saw myself in her at such a young age, along with having so much support that convinced me that this is something I could do. I don't know if I necessarily would have had the same kind of uh, conclusion had it not been seeing someone in that role. Now, in Canada, the first judge of color was uh, just named to the federal Supreme Court last June, uh, the Honorable Mahmoud Jamal. Uh, there's not been a woman of color on our top court as of yet. I mean, this this confirmation is an American confirmation, but how do you see it influencing Canada? Well, as you said, as of yet. So there, there is always time to for change to come, and I and I hope it does come with someone who is uh, appointed who really um, everyone believes should be there. I I don't want anyone to think someone's there because of like a diversity kind of hire. Um, But there is there is time for change. And and hopefully that's something that I'll see in my lifetime is that uh, a female judge in the Supreme Court who is of color um, will be appointed. You you point out that I hope nobody's there because of uh, this 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 phrase um, diversity hire. You know that in reaction to um, Judge Brown Jackson being confirmed, there are people in the U.S. who are 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 you know pushing back, saying that um, President Biden had stated he was going to uh, find a black woman for this position, and that others weren't considered. Essentially, referring to her as as a diversity hire. What's your reaction to that? I. I don't, um, I understand where he's coming from. Um, and I think he's just trying to stress the importance of having diversity on the bench and that in the highest level court of the United States. I don't know if people would have reacted the same way if he just didn't say that ah. and just said, you know what, I found the best person for the job. 
and that person just happens to be a black woman. Hmm. So um, I I might have approached it a little bit differently, but I'm just a little Tanya Walker. I'm not the, the president uh, of the United States. I think that's a fair point. I mean, the idea that that the action should be the statement, no no need necessarily for a verbal statement. Exactly. You see what you see. I was the first black female bencher elected with our law society from Toronto, and. I didn't. I when I ran in 2016 and mm-hmm. 2019, I didn't lead with that. People could just see this is what I look like, right? Yeah. So, um, and I am. I appreciate that only lawyers can vote for me, and I got in twice, and um, I appreciate having their support. So I, I prefer to lead with, um, you know, skill and intellect and hard work, and then people can see what they can see. Now I know that your first inspiration was Claire Huxtable, but but you know, getting a little older, what would a, a moment like this have have meant to you to see an actual lawyer in in real life being uh, confirmed into this position? I think that it would have convinced me as a little girl that um, you don't just uh, have to practice law. There are other um, areas of law that you can pursue, such as the Supreme Court. Um, I think that's something that I might have uh, considered when I was a little girl, even just growing up. But because I didn't see someone in that role that looked like me, I didn't ever consider it. Mm -hmm. So I do hope that the younger generation, it will open their eyes to see um, that you could you could pursue law um, and you can be in private practice, work for the government, or you can be a judge of the Supreme Court, whether it's Canada or the United States. Always uh, great to celebrate the first, but always uh, even better to move on uh, to the point where there's no need to celebrate first because it's just part of life. Um, Tanya, thanks for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. Have a great day. You too. Tanya Tanya Walker is a lawyer and managing director of Walker Law in Toronto.